let me show you how you can live stream on a mobile device while still being able to have lots of functionality like adding viewer comments on the screen, overlays and guests really easily. I'm Sarah Nguyen and on this channel, I help you grow your business using video on social media with ease. In this live stream tutorial, I'm going to walk you through one way to live stream using your mobile, whether that's a smartphone or a tablet, while still having lots of functionality. This will allow you to live stream without needing your computer for those times you want to go live when you're away from your home desktop. The live stream software that I'm using today is Restream. They're an incredibly robust and painless live stream platform and I've been using them for a couple of years now and I absolutely love them. They've got free and paid plans and you can sign up using my link in the description if you'd like to try them out and get a $10 credit. Now in order for you to be able to live stream to your mobile device, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a mobile device. I'm going to be demoing this on my iPad Pro. You're also going to need Safari installed as a web browser on your mobile device. And you will also need a Restream account if you want to do it with Restream. Now, once you have opened up your mobile device, I'm doing this from my iPad Pro so that we've got lots of space to show you how to get things to work. You'll need to open up Safari, your Safari browser, and then log into Restream. After you've logged into Restream, you'll be able to see the dashboards where you can set up everything so you can start the live stream. Now, if you haven't added your destinations where you want to live stream to, it's probably a little bit easier to do it from desktop, but you want to click on add channel and then follow the prompts to connect all the pages and the profiles that you want to live stream to. Now, once you've added them all, you'll be able to see them listed in your dashboard here. And then you want to select the pages, the groups, and all of the streaming sites that you want to live stream to. So once you've got them set up, then you can go over to enter live studio, click on that, and this will open up the Restream Studio for you to start configuring your live stream. You will need to allow Restream access to the microphone and camera, so go ahead and click on allow. After you have allowed Restream permissions, then you can see that it's currently picking up the front facing camera. You can change that by going into the settings cog underneath the video here. So if I click on that, then I can choose the video input here and I can choose the front camera or the back camera so I can switch that and I can switch it back and forth to make sure that it's choosing the one that I want. I can choose the video resolution. I can also click on audio input to choose the microphone source if you have different microphone sources. If I click on advanced settings, then I'll be able to see some other settings there that you can choose if it's relevant to you. And then you've got the same functionality and features as you would for the most part that you would on desktop. Now you can see the disclaimer here saying that support is limited. They suggest using desktop on Chrome for the best experience, but you do have the ability technically to live stream from your mobile device on Restream. Now let's just check out a couple more options here. So in the chat, this is where you'll see the chat feed come through. So all of the conversations from the different channels that you're live streaming to, you can go in and you can play with graphics. So add all of your overlays to the stream here, and you can play around with backgrounds as well. If you wanted to um, add a guest, you would simply click on this invite guest, copy this link, send it to your guests, and then they will be able to join the live stream. And you can manage the whole thing from your mobile, which makes it really, really cool. And the other thing is if you go and look at this private chat section, if you do have guests, this is where you can have conversations with them. And um, that's different to the actual chat chat, which is where you'll see all of the comments coming through from your audience audience. So once you're ready to go live, you can double check the destinations that you're going to go live to by clicking on the setup tab on the top right hand corner here. So I'm going to click on setup and then I can see here these are the destinations and it's toggled on for the destinations that I want to live stream to. I can add a title entering it here and I can also add a description for the live stream as well. Just add some text here. And then once I'm ready, I would simply click go live on the top corner here. 
And then I know that I'm live because it's got this orange live icon on the actual video. And then I can go through and I can do an amazing live stream add all of my overlays, play with the background, and you would simply go through as you would on desktop, but you have the ability to do it from your mobile device. So that's really cool. And once you're ready to end the live stream, you would simply click on finish. Restream will ask you if you're sure, and you can click okay if you are. And that's how easy it is to live stream from your mobile device using Restream. I hope you got so much value out of that video. And if you did, why don't you smash the like button for me? Let me know in the comments section below what other live stream tutorials would you like to learn about? I'd love to make these videos for you. And in the meantime, why don't you either check out my handy dandy restream playlist or grab a copy of my Facebook Live cheat sheets. It's a super simple way to get up and streaming on Facebook Live, even if you've never hit record before. Check them out by clicking on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.